Are you worried about your memory? Do you find it hard to focus and stay focused? Have you got a history of early onset dementia in your family? Well, this is the podcast for you. In this video, you're going to learn how to improve your memory, how to improve your focus, how to get rid of brain fog, and how to prevent early onset dementia and just overall tune up your brain power. We have created a really, really simple four-step protocol for you to improve brain health, all for a cost of less than your cup of coffee a day. With a special free treat, free gift for you guys at the end, so stay tuned. First, we're going to cover the neural network, all the complexity that it is, and we're going to give you a supplement that's going to help to support that neural network. Next, we're going to talk about how to feed your brain specific nutrients, a specific nutrient that feeds your brain, the most important one. And then after that, we're going to give you our special treat, which is a practice that you can do yourself for free in the comfort of your own home with our guidance. So let's get into it, shall we? First off, so the brain, it's this amazing organ. The brain is probably the most complex and maybe the most or least understood of all of our organs. Alongside our gut, it has this amazing ability to connect to all of the cells and influence all of the cells in our body and regulate what they do throughout their day. Every impulse from synaptic impulses to clench and unclench your fist, to telling your, your gut to go through this peristaltic wave motion that enhances and moves food through your gut, every organ, like every single thing. It's a synaptic response or some sort of impulse that gets started by your brain. So. It's a network, right? And so this network, it's a lot like what we see in the kingdom outside us, the natural kingdom outside us, where you've got plants talking to each other via the soil and all these amazing things that we're starting to discover with modern, modern science about the natural world. Inside our body, it's the same thing. And the communication, facilitation of the communication within that network is the most important thing we can support and enhance. Essentially, it's electrical conductivity. And electrical conductivity requires insulation like if you ever see a wire it's got an insulator on the outside that insulator in our body is called the myelin sheath the myelin sheath is this kind of like fatty covering that gets degraded over a lifetime that's supported by intake of certain nutrients but particularly that myelin sheath it can be as we have only recently discovered influenced and stimulated and regenerated by certain compounds the most exciting of those and one the most profoundly like exciting of those is lion's mane. What the hell is lion's mane? A lion's mane, mm -hmm. that's a kind of a mushroom, right? And mm -hmm. it kind of looks it looks a bit like a lion's mane. Are you suggesting that people go out, find that mushroom and eat it in their food? Or is there some kind of easy way that's kind of fun that they can take it? Yeah, so lion's mane, you can go out and eat it as a food. It is incredibly expensive and it's not the tastiest unless you really know how to cook it. So save yourself the complexity of all that and all the failures and all the tears in the kitchen and get yourself a supplement. A particular one we recommend a lot is Four Sigmatic Lion's Mane Supplement. It's a dual extract. You don't need to know what that means, but just know that that is the way to get the best out of the mushroom. 30 sachets cost you like 32.50. And you drink it like a coffee, like a tea? How does that work? Drink it like a coffee, drink it in your coffee or in your tea or as a tea on its on its own. It's a really, really lovely, slightly sweet flavor. And uh, so if you combine it with coffee, it's nice. If you don't like that sweetness, it's kind of bittersweet. It's beautiful, beautiful mushroom and a great way to help to support. Both today, it will help to improve your focus and your clarity and it will improve your attention, your memory. And from a, from a preservation point of view, it's going to help to prevent the decline that happens as that myelin sheath, as we said, dries out and wears thin. And the insulation along that electrical conductivity, that chain that we have going from our brain to all of our extremities and our organs starts to degrade as we live a life. Mm. So the first step is looking after our neuronal network yeah. and protecting all those things, protecting the now and the future. What is our second stage? Second stage is feeding the brain. So when we talk about the brain, the brain is more than 70% fat. So it's like it's made of fats and particularly made of these polyunsaturated fats, uh, the sort of things that we know come from fish oils and particularly in this situation, the structural compound from, from fish oils, which is known as DHA. Uh, so the, the, the DHA fat, you've got EPA and DHA within fish oils and DHA is the one that's found in all the cell membranes. So predominantly in our body, the cell membranes are, are made of those types of fatty acids. And unfortunately, when we have certain insults in our life, as we age, we reduce our body's ability to metabolize fats because our liver isn't functioning so well anymore. And that's the main thing that helps us to, to gather and absorb the fats that we get in our diet. 
Also, we're not eating enough sources of the sort of foods that give us those fats, i.e. Uh, fish, we're rich, rich fatty, fatty fish, thing, things like salmon and things like sardines and mackerel and anchovies. We also have, like I said, an inability for us to, to absorb and process them. And also certain things in our body, in our diet, uh, certain things alongside, along our, during our life, uh, reduce our body's ability to, or, or certainly influence the, the, the re retention of those fats in our brain. So thinking about when you get pregnant, uh, you have a thing called baby brain, which everybody knows as a concept, but when they look at brain scans, they show reduction in the actual volume, brain volume by over 20%. And that is because those fats are being donated to a baby. So women, listen up. If you are pregnant or have been pregnant or looking to get pregnant or have had multiple babies in the past, and you're wondering, why is my brain not functioning? It's because you donated loads of those fats to your to your baby, developing baby, understandably, unnecessarily, but now you need to replenish your own stores. Fish oils are the way to do that. So polyunsaturated fats in this form of fish oils are the way you get in and recover from a deficiency in terms of your diet, both now and historically. Uh, and you can recover that baby brain. That's all, what's also been shown, which is really exciting. So if you take essential fatty acids for eight to 12 weeks, you start to recover the tissue uh, concentrations of and the plasma concentrations of essential fatty acids that allow you to essentially to, re to replenish your brain stores. And so do people have to take it like cod liver oil on a spoon, which is kind of disgusting if you remember from our kid days, or are there like better ways or like more palatable ways for people to take that now? Cod liver oil, I think, used to be gross because they hadn't really worked out the technology to make fish oils taste fine. Fish oils, these days, they put in lemon essential oils. They process them such that they're basically flavorless. They don't repeat, for most people, repeating is like a, uh, that grossness that you would have had from taking fish oils from 20 years ago or 30 years ago. If you find that they're not delicious, which, I mean, delicious is a, is a, a push, put it into you know, a spoonful of yogurt, um, put it into a smoothie. That make you, literally, you won't taste your fish oil. So what is the one that you would recommend? What's the one you choose from your shop for people, the top one? So I think the best one available globally, whether from our shop or others, is Wiley's Finest. We're not sponsored by Wiley's whatsoever, but it's the best one we've ever found. Wiley's was a company that produced fish oils for other companies, but they said after years of them uh, their oils being misrepresented on the market by companies that you know sold their their fish oils and said that they did X Y Z or they contained X Y Z. They were like, ah, this is rubbish. We're just going to produce the fish oils ourselves with our own consumer brand. So Wiley's finds it's produced from wild Alaskan pollock, so it's a much more sustainable fish stock. It's a much higher concentration than you'd imagine from a white fish. We're always told it's not like white fish don't contain the fats, but actually pollock really does. Um, it's taken from waters where you don't have to worry about the concentrations of dioxins and heavy metals like mercury and cadmium, which you definitely should be worrying about when you're taking your fish oils, when they come from the coast of Chile, when it's sardines, mackerel, etc. that come from those, that part of the world. Essentially, Wiley's Finest is really good value, high potency, purity and, and good concentration, essentially. Okay, so we are looking at feeding the brain mm -hmm. we've looked at improving neuronal network and then what is the last thing inflammation right that's a really big problem in terms of brain health exactly so when we look at brain health we have as the brain ages and as our body ages inflammation becomes a really really big concern a growing concern and inflammation is the root by which your body is designed helping to protect itself from damage but actually as it lays down plaques as a result of the inflammation that's there a result of things crossing the blood-brain barrier into this very delicate space that the body tries to preserve, you have increasing inflammation and inflammation begets inflammation. And so there are neuronal protective antioxidants that help to reduce inflammation in the brain. And the number one for me is KN. I love KN. It is one of the most important and undersung of all the herbs. You'll find people like Barbara O'Neill talking about it online a lot. And KN has this incredible capacity to reduce uh, pressure on the cardiac muscle so it reduces inflammation that also helps to dilate blood vessels improve oxygenation of tissue but particularly when it comes to the brain yes it works as a neuronal protective anti-inflammatory so protecting inflammation from getting into the brain inflammatory processes from happening in the brain and therefore preserving the life of the brain the lifespan of the brain and then helping to reduce the potential for long-term dementia and cognitive decline and all those things that we're all running away from as we age and so can we're sprinkling it on our food, we're buying it, we, most of us have it in our carpet. Is that as good as getting it in a supplement form? It's 
No, unfortunately, short answer no, because when you have food grade herbs and spices, they've been sitting around in factories, in warehouses, you know, oxidizing for their, their, the time since they've been harvested. We don't really have any guarantees of the quality there. So when it comes to food grade, or when it comes to, to herbs like can, we really want to get medicinal grade or medical grade herbs. KN from Nature's Answer, they make a beautiful tincture of it. It's the one I recommend the most. Uh, it's not that difficult to take. The first time you take it, it's kind of spicy, but your body gets used to these things. It acclimatizes, your palate acclimates to the, to the heat. And you find that three drops on day one feels like a lot, but you know, 10 drops on day three, you're like, well, I'm starting to get used to this. And actually the, the, the recommended dose, which is like 56 drops of that KN uh, is really doable after like a week or 10 days. Um, so yeah, so that's what we'd recommend in order to get the consistent availability of the active compounds that have the anti-inflammatory effect in KN, we'd recommend getting the tincture, you know, taking little and often, taking small baby drops and, and titrating the dose out over time. And then what we haven't really mentioned is phasing in and out your supplements. So with things like fish oils, with things like KN, uh, with things like lion's mane, go for like an eight to 12 week sort of stint. And like we said, it's like less than three quid a day, less than the price of your latte a day. So if we think you can cope with the price of a coffee per day, which we all do, two or three coffees a day, usually for most of us, um, then we can definitely cope with the sort of like brain health protocol that's going to help to buffer and balance out from the sort of degradation that we get, unfortunately, from things like caffeine in our day. So you're saying that this protocol, people do it for five to 12 weeks? or Eight, eight to 12 weeks, eight something 12 like that. Weeks. Let's say two months to three months. And it's three things that they need to buy. Mm -hmm. So it is the first one that we talked about is for the neural networks. And that one is Lion's, Lion's Mane, Lion's Mane yeah. which they're going to get from Full Sigmatic and they have it like a tea. Perfect. The second stage is feeding the brain. Mm -hmm. So keeping it really nourished, really nutrient dense. And that one we're choosing fish oils. So exactly. we're using Wiley's finest fish mm -hmm. oils. And that's a supplement tablet or it's a, a liquid it's well. a liquid is what we're recommending okay. if you can take it they have a capsule yeah, as well it's just more expensive because the company's going to charge you to put anything that they have in a liquid into a capsule it makes sense third one is that we are going to take KN in mm -hmm. the tincture mm -hmm. from nature's answer yep. and then we've got a fourth stage which we're giving you for free right because we're asking you to buy those three things to look after your health but we think that you should also get something free for investing in your health too wow okay and this one's down to you right so yeah. You are a practitioner of all sorts of amazing eye yoga and face yoga disciplines. I know I've learned so much from you over the years, but you specifically, when it comes down to brain health, there are some really, really good tricks with eye yoga, right? Yeah. I think when we look at any kind of all body system health, especially when we're looking at the brain though, we can't just look at what's going inside. That's a really important fundamental start, but we also have to look at exercising those muscles. The brain is a muscle. So we have to look at it from two factors. There's an exercise that we need to do in order to strengthen that muscle. And then that muscle has to be really, really uh, nourished and also working really well mm. from both factors, right? Um, so the brain is no different to that. But like you said, the brain is the master gland. It's like the controller of the whole, of every single thing in the body is mm. controlled by our brain. If our brain isn't working effectively, we aren't going to be able to use our fine motor skills. So we won't be able to talk properly. We can't see as well we used to. We can't grip. We don't have good grip strength. We're not going to regulate our emotions as well as we should. We're not going to digest our food. You know, the, our stress levels aren't going to be, we're not going to sleep well. We won't have as good libido. Everything in our body is affected by our brain. And we need to use that really, really well. We need to train that muscle. Mm. The brain and the eyes are connected. They are the same thing. When they're forming in uterus, the eye buds literally fall out of the brain. So they're connected to each other. So when we do eye exercises, we actually strengthen and retrain that brain. So we build gray matter. When we look at things like dementia, we're looking at loss of gray matter, essentially. And what we want to do is build that gray matter again. We've now learned that neuroplasticity exists, so we can change the structure and function of the brain. But just like any other muscle in our body, it wastes as we get older. Atrophy happens, unfortunately. So we need to exercise it to get it stronger. And that will strengthen all the other functions of the brain through the body. And the great thing is that with just a few minutes, like two minutes a day of eye exercises, you'll improve your eyesight, which I'm sure is also declining as we get older. But also all of the other functions of the brain. So if you combine these exercises that I'm going to give you for free with the protocol that we've just done then, they're going to boost your brain in all directions. Amazing. So 
That is your brain health protocol. We'll be back for round two of these. There's so many elements we'd love to cover. And the brain, just like every other part of the body and every other part of our health, we can touch on it with so many different different little tweaks. So if you've enjoyed this, go and do this the step-by-step and practice along with Lydia. And you can also look at uh, some of our, our videos we've covered on anxiety, on other elements of stress that help that also affect our brain. Um, and in the meantime, uh, take care, look after your brain, look after your loved ones and make sure you subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll be the first to get all these videos and there are going to be so many more protocols coming down the line that you can get free information from us. So like, subscribe and make sure you hop over to get your free tutorial for the iYoga now. Cheers.